I paired up with two best chess engines up to date, Komodo and the one and only Stockfish and I made them play a game with 12 hours of thinking time. And this is how it went. Alright, here we go. Komodo has the white pieces and Stockfish has the black pieces. The game started with d4. We have knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5. This is a typical queen's gambit, declined. We have g3, bishop b4 check. This is a line, it's called the declined Catalan opening since it turns into a Catalan when you play this move. We have block with bishop. This is actually what I play as white as well, most of my games. And then back, that is a move, either back, takes, is the most uh, common moves. We have bishop g2, castles, castles, and c6. So this is a typical declined Catalan opening. I play this a lot, as I just said, and yeah, it's very nice. Okay, queen b3, this is a move that I don't usually play. I always go queen c2, at least 99 out of 100 times. But this is a book move, and I probably think it's the best since Komodo played it. We have a5, a typical stockfish move, of course, just pushing the pawn. We have bishop f4, developing the bishop. We have knight bd7, rook d1, a3, queen c2. Now the queen goes to c2. I don't know why it didn't go there before. Uh, I don't know. Probably some reason. We have b6, okay. Knight d5, takes, and takes with pawn, voluntarily doubling up these dudes. That's the best move though. Hmm, okay. You have knight d7, and now takes, takes, and e4. That's kind of the point why they voluntarily doubled up the pawn, because Komodo know they would make this pawn push and undouble the pawns. So, but d4 was played. That's a great move. Although that's just a free pawn. So I'm kind of confused why that's a great move. I guess, oh, because now the pawn stays doubled. Wow, and this bishop is doesn't have this very powerful diagonal available. Wow, that's a very good move upon sacrifice side. Maybe it was it. I don't know. Whatever. So rook takes and g5. That's a strange move. Stockfish played g5, pushing the pawn in front of the king. I was taught that you shouldn't do this, but stock rules doesn't apply to stockfish. We have bishop c1, which was an inaccuracy apparently. Ah. We have queen e8 and rook back to d1. Bishop a6, putting the bishop on a nice square diagonal. And bishop e e3. Why did he? Why did Stockfish go back all the way here? He has to go back here then. I mean Komodo. Why did Komodo do that? I have no idea. You have knight takes e5. Bishop takes this pawn. Queen b8. Bishop d4. Rook d8. Knight c3. Knight d3, knight d3, huh, takes, 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 and now, oh, bishop c5, yeah, and Stockfish wins that trade, and knight d5, wow, and now, huh, am I missing something, okay, never mind, we have queen b4, offering the trade of queen, Stockfish is currently up a rook for a bishop, queen f6, we have queen d6 offering the trade once again, queen back to c3, rook a c8 attacking the queen, queen d4, a lot of queen moves, doesn't take the pawn, which apparently was the best move, instead goes there. We have queen d4 offering the trade, of the queen stockfish really wants this trade. Kumodo is like, I don't want to trade, I am down material, so why would I trade my queen with you? Rook d6, queen e5. Rook b6, which is an inaccuracy apparently. We have b3, which also is an inaccuracy. Huh. Queen c3, queen takes. Okay, so now Komodo accepts the queen trade. Rook d1 is a good move, putting the rook behind the pawn, defending it, looking to push the pawn. So I assume Stockfish probably played this move here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, rook d6, good spot by me. We have bishop e4, king g7, putting the king into the center. You since this is the end game, the king should always be more active. Pretty much, not always, but most on most occurrences. We have rook d2, queen or king f6, getting even closer. Also putting a king up. 
and rook e2 where queen d4 the king is really just in commodo's face right now bishop f3 and rook f6 we have bishop e4 h5 rook e1 king c5 f3 we have g4 takes takes and rook e2 all right king d6 a great move I assume maybe the idea is to bring the king to this side of the board or something. Like, you can't go there, but maybe just walk around or something, I don't know. Probably not, I'm just a mere noob compared to Stockfish, I have no idea. Uh, rook e1, we have rook c5, rook b1, rook c7, we have rook d1, a lot of rook moves, bishop d3, rook f3, bishop there, which is an inaccuracy because of rook c6 look there and a4 that's a very nice move you can't you can obviously not take this because you'll lose the bishop so instead we have rook f2 and a3 wow that's yes what do you call it i don't know what the term is but it's a usual endgame technique where you make the pawn stuck on this rank and make it weak yeah, it won't be able to do anything. We have rook f6 check, queen, king there, rook there, king back, check. Oh, repetition? Of course not. Stockfish is winning. We have rook e8, we have d6, sacrificing a pawn. Right? Yeah, king takes. Alright, now bishop can take that. But now, okay, rook e1, I was expecting rook f8. But that wasn't played. We have h3, rook e e3 takes and takes takes and now yeah stockfish is just gonna win this rook c8 king there rook there 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 yes a lot of slow maneuvering okay king f4 doesn't even take huh bishop there king there what what did stock uh, i guess komodo is just looking for the the slowest mate and <laughs> hence they just sacrifice their bishop for no reason yeah and now it's just a checkmate okay no stockfish doesn't go for that checkmate he rather goes for this little ladder mate in and win the game so yeah stockfish manages to get the win wow shocker nobody thought so stockfish is of course the superior computer but yeah was a good game. So if you wonder about the accuracy, Stockfish played with 97% accuracy and Komodo played with 90.5. So it wasn't super accurate from neither of them. For a 12 hour game, they usually play with way higher accuracy. Might be my shit computer that's bugging it out a bit, but yeah. That it is what it is. So thank you for watching. That's all for this video. Please like subscribe because I want you to. And I'll see you later. Peace out.